Hello, one and all. We are back at Pico CTF land. Um, I wanted to shoot this video because it's been a while and I really wanted to get back into trying my hand at a little capture the flag. Um, and so here we go. I'm going to log into Pico CTF. I'm going to open the web shell in another browser here. I need to type in my stuff. So I'm logged in now. And just as a reminder, this is a shell that we're opening up. Pico CTF uh, gives us access to our own like little uh, remote environment that we get to play in and that's what I'm basically logging in as all right so let's pick something that's not too crazy <laughs> um I don't know what to pick here let's do a little all right so I think I will go with uh some general skills because I feel like I definitely could use uh, some some general skills uh practice um let's try strings it I guess can you find the flag in the file without running it hint strings Strings Linux. Print the strings of printable characters in a file. Okay. So here I'm going to right click and copy the link address. And then go back to the web shell and then have it download that with wget. And I will paste that link and it is going to download the file called strings. And so if I do like file strings, it'll tell you what this thing kind of is. An ELF. I have no, by the way, I have no idea what any of this stuff means. Um, so that's interesting. But we are given a hint about this whole strings Linux manual page. So how do you work this strings for each file given GNU strings prints the printable characters that are at least four characters long. Okay. So I put strings string, I guess. I don't know. Let's try that strings strings oh my goodness okay that was weird um so it looks like there's a bunch of strings being printed out i'm gonna guess that some one of these is the flag i'm gonna have to guess that oh i don't think i think it's too long i can't see maybe i can store all of this in its own file let me see maybe i'm, I'm messing something up Strings is mainly useful for determining the contents of non-text files. N is the minimum limit. Okay. So right now it says four. So I think if I do like strings N equals five strings. Argument five. Um, how do I do this? How do you set a variable then? N five strings. And that gives me five okay as the limit so let me make this like 10. oh interesting okay okay uh this is still kind of a hot mess i cannot read this in part because i still don't know what the hell i'm doing <laughs> but at least i'm getting somewhere i think i don't know i mean i could also grep this i think is that right can you grep this pipe this into grep and you're looking for ctf i think oh pico ctf so you're looking for pico with anything else after that holy crap i found it oh my wait holy crap <laughs> i was able to find it that's crazy it's this thing oh my goodness I, it copies it automatically I could paste that, submit the flag. Yo, let's go. Oh my goodness. I earned 100 points and I kind of know what I was doing, but not really. I still don't really know what this file was, right? Like this, I said file strings. Like I still don't know what any of this means. ELF 64 bit. What's all this junk? I don't know. Dynamically linked. I, I am, I'm still a long way from understanding it, but at least the hint works. So. Yay for that. Okay, so um, that was short. That took less time than I thought. So let me maybe try another one. Uh, let me try this one called bases. General skills bases. Um, what does this mean? I think it has something to do with bases. Okay, let's get the hint. Uh, Some of your answer. Yeah, obviously. Okay, so. All right, so this has to do with bases. So I need to uh, take the string and convert it somehow. How do I do that? I don't know. Let's see. 
um, convert string using base bases base 64 convert string in base 64 what is that base my string here bam decode and it's base 64 and it says this learn the ropes uh ha 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 paste that submit holy hell wow that was that was pretty easy <laughs> it was just base 64 formatting encode decodes your data okay well I'm having an easier time than I thought I would. Let's try a third one. I'm genuinely surprised that this is working so well. So, grep. Okay, let's do grep. Can you find the flag in this file? This would be really tedious to look through manually. Something tells me there is a better way. Grep tutorial. Yeah, I think I, I definitely could use more grep practice. So this is pretty good. Um, so let me... Uh, copy that get this let me copy the link address and let's clear this and do a whole w get and then paste our link and get the file called file um and we will uh do what with that let's see let's go back to the grep lesson because i think i could probably learn a little thing or two here basic behavior of egrep egrep what the heck is egrep Egrep is a program which will search a given set of data and print every line which contains a given pattern. So you do need to know a little bit of regular expression for this. So thankfully, I know a little bit about that. Um, it is an extension of a program called grep. Its name is odd. Okay, so egrep. Do I even have egrep on this? Let's see. Egrep. Uh, so which egrep? It exists. Okay, so I, we do have egrep. Um, all right, so... It's supposed to say e grep this text and then this file and then it finds melon any t okay so i'm looking for i kind of do what i did in the last kind of exercise where to e grep i'm looking for pico and in the file name file which is already there holy hell okay grep i'm liking grep it's pretty good copy that paste that in here Submit the flag. Booyah. Yo, what is going on? I feel like last time I did this, it took me so long to do any little thing. Okay, let's do something a little bit a little bit more cool. Like this one's PW crack one. I guess it's password cracking. Can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker. It's a password checker. And you'll need the encrypted flag just here in the same directory too. It has a bunch of hints. Oh, wow. Okay, so to view the file, nano, okay. To exit nano, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> nano is so unintuitive, they have to give you instructions on how to, like, actually exit the darn thing. Um, string XOR function does not need to be reverse engineered for this challenge. Okay, interesting. All right, well, it looks like we have to do some, like, maybe reverse engineering. So here, I'm going to copy this link, download this into our uh, shell here, wgit. Paste that. Booyah, we have this thing called level 1py. And now we will also, you'll need the encrypted file here. So I'm going to do that as well. So wget, paste that. And that is the encrypted file called level 1 flag txt encoded. Uh, let's just do a cat on level 1 dot flag. And apparently that is it. It is this this whole thing is the encrypted string interesting okay download the, okay so so it says to do nano nano level one okay so let's try that nano level one dot py hmm it says this function will not help you find the flag do not they're, they're really making it clear don't touch this okay fine i won't touch that um in flag encoded open this and password check. Please enter the correct password for the flag. If the user's password equals F014, welcome back, your flag user, and then it decrypts that. File encode de decode? Oh, it's doing XOR on that? Okay. The decryption is the user, but the password needs to. The F014. 
I don't understand what's going on. Let me try it. Let's exit. Oh crap, how do you exit? <laughs> I need to know. Uh control X. Okay. Control X. Oh thank god. I would I would never have gotten out of there. Um okay, so let's run this thing. Let's do Python level one dot py. Password is F014, I believe. Welcome back. Your flag is this. Oh, okay. Wait, what? I didn't need to do anything. I just like check to see what the expected value was. So you just need to like read Python basically. Is that right? What? Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Okay. Um I feel like I'm like these are easy. These are easy. These are easy, right? I got these gotta be easy. So let me do one last one and then maybe I'll try this again with harder stuff, I guess. I don't feel like I'm learning too much though, so I don't know. Cookbook. Oh, sorry, code book. Run this Python script in the same directory as this file. All right, hint. I, I'm also like, I don't even like bother not looking at the hints because like I need all the help. Um, on the web shell, use 1s to see if both files are in the same directory you're in. Oh, ls, obviously. obviously. Um, okay, so it says download this. All right, so I'll copy that. Let's do uh, wget again on code.py and codebook.txt. Copy that address. wget that called cookbook.txt. Okay, it says run the Python script in the same directory. Uh, okay. It says the string XOR function do not touch. Okay, right. Okay, so again, I can just do, I think nano code.py to see what's going on. Uh, string XOR we don't touch, as we were told. Flag encoding is this whole hot mess. Okay. Print flag. Try codebook open read. And you're grabbing specifically from the codebook the fourth, 14th, all these different indexes. And then you're grabbing it. Then you're printing the flag of the XOR. So, I, the password equals these indices from the code book. Mm -hmm. So do I just run, do I just run the script? I don't think I need to do anything. It just like grabs it from the file. All right. Controls X to get out. And then we're doing Python code PY. Python is not spelled correctly. And it just it just prints out the code. So as the, the okay, this is this is too easy for me now. Um, so the trick here, quote unquote, trick is to make sure that the files are in the same directory. That's all you are really doing. Submit that. Okay, that was way too easy. I need to like bump up my difficulty. I guess. I feel like the stuff I was doing before was like way too difficult. <laughs> it was just like there's no way I'm getting past it. Also, these are general skills. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the issue. All right, I think I'm going to call it here for now. Those were pretty easy. Definitely will be looking for more of a challenge when I come back here again. Anyway, I hope that was useful. I will be trying to do more of these challenges in the future. Uh, this is the kind of content you enjoy. Please make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good things, and I will see you next time. Take care.